Thank you so much to Ana Luisa for sponsoring today's video. Y'all already know Ana Luisa is a absolute favorite of mine. I have so many earrings, necklaces, rings from them. I absolutely adore this brand. I think that they have such a cute collection that truly has something for everyone. And honestly, this is kind of the best time to have the excuse to treat yourself. Y'all know I am a very big advocate for the treat yourself ideology. Or honestly, lifestyle. You want a book? Treat yourself. You want coffee? Treat yourself. You want a pair of new earrings, a necklace, and a bracelet that matches? Treat yourself times three. I mean, I just, I'm gonna tell you, yes, I am the biggest yes man. I think that Ana Luisa has so many timeless, dainty pieces that are so perfect for so many different outfits. They pair well with everything. I love everything I have by them. I'm pretty much wearing something at all times from them. So truly, when I recommend them, I really do mean it. And this is a brand that I've been buying from since before I started working with them and I will buy long after because I truly genuinely just love them. So if you are interested in checking them out for this Valentine's Day, whether it's for yourself or for a loved one in your life, I will leave the link and code down below for all that good stuff and let me know what you get if you do get anything. And thank you so much to Anna Luisa for sponsoring today's video. Hello. Oh. Weekly vlogs are right back on track. Hello guys. Hi, how are you? Welcome back to, or to, my channel. I haven't done this in a while, so please excuse me being weird and awkward. Although that was already here before. So as you saw in the intro, I made a coffee. We went to anthropology yesterday and I got these two cute cups. This one's mine with the little beds. And then my partner's is the one with like the little cats. I don't know if they're lions, tigers. I know they're not bears. <laughs> but anywho, I'm just sitting here waiting for Miss Emily D. Baker to start. Um, I have therapy at noon. So it is 8.30. Since I've been gone, I have been waking up earlier and earlier, which is good. I tend to do that whenever, you know, not great things happen and my anxiety is high and I'm not feeling great. I decided to make grief work for me. Hmm. So I have two books that I'm reading because I'm also filming a themed vlog. I actually have a few that I'm filming and they're not like secrets so I'll tell you guys. But I am filming, well I won't tell you, no I'll tell you this one. This one's coming out next Sunday I want to say. So this Sunday my February reset should be up. So there's that. Then tomorrow, Chain of Thorns comes out. I have not finished Chain of Iron yet. So that is on my TBR, but it's not one of the first because I'm trying to prioritize like fun reads, not very dense ones currently. I am gonna put up a poll on Instagram and see if I should film a release day vlog for Chain of Thorns. I will just like go to Barnes and Noble, grab the copy, maybe read some of Chain of Iron in the cafe. I don't really know what we're gonna do, but we'll do something. Uh, and we'll just see what you guys say for that. But then the next Sunday, I'm doing reading your best books of 2022. So I did ask on Instagram what your best books of 2022 were, and I picked four random people. They were books that I already owned because I'm also kind of inspired by Miss Chandler Ainsley, as usual. She's an inspiration queen, and she did this challenge of reading all her owned books in a year. Yeah, exactly. I just mentioned going to the bookstore. You already were right there with me. Um, I don't think I can do all that, but I am going to prioritize doing reading vlog videos that are either KU specific, Kindle Unlimited specific, or I own the books. 
So there's that. So these weekly vlogs might get a little bit shorter. They might be those vlogs where I just read like two books, which is, I know, I know. When I think about that, I'm like, Olivia, two books a week is still a lot, but I'll still be reading some on the other end that you just don't see for the other vlogs. So yes, that's the one that I'm filming right now. The other one that I'm going to do is booktubers control my TBR. So do they know that they're controlling my TBR? No, but they are. And I'm going to do that. So it's two. What's the other one that I picked? There's another one that I did, but I do not remember it. Like for the life of me, my brain is blanking and you're all resting on my phone. So I don't know. It's a secret to both you and I. But those are just two of the ones that I'm going to do. Oh no, reading y'all's recommendations. So I am going to start a series on here where I just read books that y'all have been recommending me because I've noticed like I just get so many recs on my Instagram comments or on here. Why don't I just like start vlogging myself reading those? So I'm going to do that. Imagine. So weekly vlogs are really just going to be where I pick a book I really want to read for myself and we're going to read it. And then the other ones are going to have more of a TBR to them because I'm not going to lie. I don't do great with TBRs that are longer than a week or longer than what set amount of time I put for that vlog to be filmed. But there is something so satisfactory about finishing books as you go. Oh, yes. So if you want sneak peeks on what books are being chosen for that vlog, they will be hinted at over on Instagram. So you can go follow me there if you'd like, because I can't stop posting. <laughs> but let's get to the two books that I'm going to be reading this week. So the one that I'm wanting to read, I just started last night. Let me update it. So this is one that I grabbed from the library on my kindle so i could have that copy on my little kindle reader in bed because yes so i got to page 37 last night oh i'm not gonna go too into it because i didn't read it on my channel but i did finish carrie soto is back last night and yeah i hated it because i cried and disgusting but also i loved it because i love tennis and it made me just really excited i don't really care too much for the australian open but i'm very excited for the french open wimbledon the u.s i guess but i really like the French Open the most. I don't know why. I think it's, I think it's the service they play on, but it just reminds me so much of my Mima. Mima, if you're watching, shout out. Actually, my mom's whole side of the family is kind of like obsessed with tennis. When I was younger, I didn't get it. I was like, y'all are all weird, drinking wine, watching tennis, don't get it. But now literally look at me with my dog drinking wine and I'm going to watch tennis. So I got to make sure I can get those channels on there. But it was, it was, if you like tennis, it was a great book. I did not realize how much I feel like my family was training me to read that book by having me watch tennis like literally every summer for my entire life. Nice. Um, but yeah, that's a book that I finished. And since it was kind of sad, I picked up something that's also sad. <laughs> I don't know why. I didn't know that this was going to be sad, but here we are. Let me turn this off. Oh my God. You're telling me I have been looking like this the whole time? So anyways, there is a winter weather watch and I just hunkered down Annabeth's whole enclosure. So she's all good and warm, um, but it is 25 degrees outside. <laughs> I hate it. My partner loves winter. I love spring. Actually, this is what I love. I love that hanging in between time of spring and summer, that transition moment, love it. April, May, mm. Love, love, love. I love March now, though, because Annabeth comes out of brumation, which is like, it's like a reptile's hibernation, basically. But I love that because I look forward to seeing her again. But April and May is really my sweet spot. And then also September and October, that's my fall. Even though in Texas, really, it's just like a cooler summer, it's still, I love it. I wouldn't know what to do with myself if I moved from Texas, though, because I don't think I want actual seasons. I think I like the watered-down ones that we have here. And then summer is... Anyways, what was I saying that for? Oh, because I'm reading summery, springy books because I don't want to acknowledge that it's 25 degrees and that there is a 80% chance of snow tomorrow and a 90% chance of snow on Wednesday. At first I was freaking out because I was like, oh my god, I don't want it to snow. Annabeth. But then snow's an insulator. I don't know why I was freaking out about that. You know what? You want to know what I did for two weeks when I was not here with you? First of all, I missed you so much. I actually genuinely did. That sounded so sarcastic. I actually really mean that. I did miss y'all a lot. And I fell down the rabbit hole of tortoise YouTube. Yeah, it's a thing. Should I become a tortoise YouTuber? Maybe. Anyways, the homewreckers. So this is 
love murder and faulty wiring it's me the faulty wiring but this is about a widow who is a fixer upper of houses and she is approached to be on this show basically like hgtv in this world this show where they fix up historical houses and you know bring them back to their glory and they don't put shiplap on them fantastic i love that I hate shiplap and I love this. I really like houses that have character. I'm trying very hard to do that in my own, but I need to paint these dang cabinets, but I can't do it. So I gotta figure that out. It's like these beautiful vintage homes and people just rip them up and make them so modern. And really it's just like black, white and beige and not even like a cute warm beige, like a sad beige, a blue undertone beige. Beige bedding, I understand. Everything else, color, please. So that's her whole gig. And she's got a friend. I love friend dynamics. So that's in here. I think she might fall in love with the producer of the show. So cute, reading it. And I really like this lady's writing. And she has so many other books. And this cover is very cute. All her covers are very cute. So if I like it, we will continue reading. I'm in my suburban mom era. That's what I just realized. Because this is a suburban domestic thriller. Honestly, in my Fabletics matching set, <laughs> I'm kind of into it. Okay, but this thriller is the um, one that I want to read if I finish the homewreckers. Or maybe if I get like halfway through this because it's a pretty bigger book. A pretty bigger book. Okay, um, I can pick this one up. It's really short. But this is by the same author that wrote Local Woman Missing. If you have not read Local Woman Missing, you need to read it. It's so good. Specifically, the audiobook is so good. But this one I saw Miss Haley from Haley Hughes read. And you know if she reads a thriller, I'm going to buy the thriller. I mean, I already bought this, but I would have bought it if I hadn't already bought it. But she can't account for my impulse controls, okay? Uh, but what, let me just repeat what she said in her video. Basically, this couple, the husband goes missing. The wife is looking for him like, oh my god, what is occurring? And her friend knows and doesn't tell her. That was even some messy, so... I'm excited. I love suburban thrillers. I love domestic thrillers. I think that they're probably my favorite just because it's like, honestly, suburban slash domestic thrillers are always about rich, petty people. So it's kind of like reading the Real Housewives plotline, but like someone's dead, you know? I don't know. I just think that that's makes for a great book. So these are the two books that I'll be attempting this week, plus the ones from the, um, the other video that's coming out in two weeks, but awesome cool let me go post on instagram if we're gonna do the chain of thorns reading or vlog i could do just like a day in my life or maybe i could do a vlog where it's like instagram controls my book buying my book instagram controls my book haul am i just trying to find ways to haul more books yes and that's fine Hello, so I'm getting ready to leave and I decided I wanted to show you what I was talking about from anthropology because honestly, it's really cute stuff and I never haul anything other than books. So I was like, I have poor spending habits in all categories. Let's show it. I did not realize that my bedroom door was open and it kind of freaked me out when I just looked back. <laughs> Cause I was like, hello, who's there? It's Nothing. It's the bed frame. So this is my little bag. Yeah, let's, let's get into it. So I literally always check the sale section in Anthropology because I swear, I don't even know why it's on sale, but it's marked off so much. And I think everything there is so cute. So the first thing that I got is this pink sweater. And I liked it because it has these sleeves that are rolled up and also their sweaters are so nice and I always like them. I always want to get them, but I can never bring myself to buy them. I, but then this one, I tried it on and I was like, okay, wait, no, I actually really do like this one. And I think it's really cute. It's like a cute little like lounge around the house sweater for sure. But just like put a little cami under it. And this is also where we got those two cups that I showed. I think I already mentioned that, but I'm just an anthropology stand, so you're... And then this is from the same, I don't know if their clothes are all the same brand, throw up glass, but um, I got this one 
this orange one and it's more of a cropped one but it's really just like it's not that cropped oh my god i look like a pumpkin it's not this orange in real life in real life it looks just like a brighter version of this like a more orange one it looks so orange on camera honestly though kind of love it kind of here for it i don't know what it is in my hair because this is my natural hair first of all i want to dye my hair black my mom hates the idea i'm impulsive and i have access to target so i might do it anyways have some undertone of this in my hair so it looks really nice when i wear it so i like these colors plus i'm just a fall color person but this is really cute and i love the sleeves are so big and then the last two things are some hair accessories so I've been wanting a headband for forever. I just, I love headbands. I need to get like a headband, what is that called? Organizer? I know they have them, I've seen them. Like there's acrylic everything in the world and the TikTok girls will show it all to you. I do need one. That's actually something that like I would purchase and I probably would like, but I got this plain black headband and she's cute. Just a little boop. <laughs> And then this is the thing I'm most excited about because I love bows. I think they're really cute. One of my favorite pictures I've taken with my bookshelves has a bow in it, but I'm not good at tying them. And I feel like they never look as cute when I do them myself on my hair. So this one is this bow and I love this color scheme, palette, pattern, whatever, because it goes with my hair really well and most of the clothes I wear, but then it's a clip on the back. So I'm actually gonna go onto their website and see if they have more and then probably buy them because i really like this and i think it's really cute and i don't like doing a lot with my hair like what i like to do is i braid it at night so that it's like a extra wavy version of my natural hair and then tie it back but this gives it like a little extra so anyways that's it that's all I feel weird standing up and doing this but anyways, I'm gonna go put these two things up now and leave, I guess, to go drive and venture out. It's allegedly supposedly gonna start snowing in a few hours. So, ugh, hate that, gross. Love of Founding Fathers hair moment. Um, okay, hi. So it is about 3 p.m. I'm about to go make a coffee, even though, I mean, should I? Mm, I don't know, but I am going to anyways because I'm getting a headache and I don't want it to turn into a migraine. And our driveway is a sheet of ice right now, so I can't go out and get a McDonald's Coke to fix it. So this is where we're at. So I'm almost done with one of the books for the video going up next week. Very excited for that. So I'm going to finish that, start the next one, get a little bit into that. And then the book that I've been reading like as my night wind down book is Homewreckers. This is technically not going to be what I put on my February TBR. I do have my February TBR set up and it's up now if you want to see it. But I have so many books on there. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... 13, 14, 15 books on there. I do genuinely think I could read them because I'm really gonna buckle down 
and try to do more of my like sprints on Patreon as me actually reading not working and then any extra sprints I do on Patreon will be working and then I'll like read for the Monday. So I'm doing sprints on Patreon this month from Monday at 4 p.m. and then Wednesdays at 11 a.m. That way that it hits kind of both time zones as much as possible and yes. Because I was going to do Fridays, but I realized I have the Lou Phantasma 24-hour readathon and the Shaken Espresso 24-hour readathon for two weekends of that. Because it's 24 hours, but I do sprints on a Friday and a Saturday, basically, back-to-back. -back. And then it would take up two Fridays out of there, and I don't want to do that. So, we're making it Mondays and Wednesdays. It's kind of like a, ugh, we made it through the Monday, praise God. And the Wednesday of like, oh my God, I can literally see the weekend now. Those are the themes of the sprints. <laughs> But um, anyways, let's talk about the homewreckers. So I'm absolutely obsessed with this. It is a fiction, contemporary fiction, I think is what it'd be classified as. Definitely giving me a beach read kind of vibe. Not the book beach read, but just like actual action of reading upon the beach. Um, it's about this woman who is a widow. She is redoing houses in Savannah, Georgia to save them and restore them and all that good stuff and she gets approached by This World's HGTV. Um, they call it HPTV which is a weird sounding acronym. I don't like it. It's really close to HPV <laughs> and so it throws me off every time that I read it but it is their version of the home network and they are asking her to do this series where she redoes a house and then there's a designer that he's kind of like a little caddy from California and he's you know they've got that banter going back and forth but we're seeing behind the scenes it's more staged and then they find evidence of a teacher from their Catholic school way back when when they were in high school who went missing like 20 years ago and they find evidence in the house so then a police investigation is starting up now so we've got like this woman who's kind of living her life it seems like there may be some love interests brewing one or two um with the producer of the show also with her castmates but then there's also a lot of friendship stuff in here i'm really liking because her friend Cass I think it is is um probably my favorite character so far because she's very much the one of like would you please stop doing these ridiculous reckless things and then the main character is like no I'm the main character and it's, I just love their dynamic and then we have the houses being rebuilt which is something I really like reading about for some reason it's got a small town vibe it's cute and we have a like cozy mystery kind of investigation going on. So I'm really liking this. I'm very intrigued by it and I'm going to continue reading it tonight. But for now I'm going to go make a coffee to hopefully fix this and read some more of Under the Whispering Door. And also I wanted to say um, I'm going to try to make these vlogs as like chatty and long as I can but I'm just having days like where I had yesterday where it was just like I just kind of wanted to like <laughs> and just exist and just read my book and I was really engrossed in my book and I can really talk a lot about books I'm reading especially because I'm doing like a project video for it so like that's great but I'm not really chatty in my life stuff and I think it's just because like grief is a son of a gun <laughs> so I just wanted to like let y'all know that for the little bit of the upcoming times and by that I just mean like the next few weeks or months or re there's no timeline on it really. I, these just might not be as long as they used to be, which is also probably some of y'all are like, thank you. Um, but yeah, I just, I don't want it to be like a super sudden change, but they are going to be a little bit because, you know, I had a super sudden change in my life and I'm just like, I want to get on and talk to y'all. And I was like debating not even doing weekly vlogs because I'm like, oh, but it won't be the same. But I still miss it and I wanted to like talk to y'all in the comments and stuff. And yeah. Also another thing I'm doing. I don't know if I mentioned this yet. But I, I don't know why. But I was talking to my therapist about it. And I think it's just like humans aren't meant to be as connected as they are via social media. Like you're not meant to be able to see literally millions of people's thoughts every hour of every day. All the time like and i do i understand the science of that no but you know if you think about it evolution wise social media is like skyrocketed and we have not had time to like catch up if that makes sense like brain wise i'm sure and instagram is giving me the anxious 
<laughs> so it's just like I feel so overwhelmed because I want like everything to be perfect. I'm already kind of a perfectionist about like my feed looking good, which I hate that I'm doing that. Like who, who am I? I don't know, but I'm not letting go of it because I want it to look good. <laughs> so I'm like, you know, about the pictures and then I want the stories to be cool. I want to reply to everybody. I want to reply to every comment. And then I just get so overwhelmed because I'm like, if I do all of that, then it's like, when do I have time to read and then film and then edit and then, I don't know, bereave. <laughs> so I'm doing this challenge that I saw as told by Kenya. I follow her on her Patreon. It is my favorite Patreon I'm part of. I love Kenya. She has a booktube channel now and I'm obsessed with that too. Like I will take her recommendations just she says a book is good, I've already bought it. Like, by the end of the video, it's in my cart, and it's already towards the house. Like, that's kind of where it's at. I'll link her down below. I have loved her commentary channel for, like, years at this point, but the booktube channel is just top tier. Um, she was saying something about, in January, she basically gets off of Twitter. She doesn't get off, like, she can post, but she doesn't scroll or interact. And that's kind of what I'm going to do with Instagram is I'm going to post on Instagram, but I'm not going to scroll or interact and see how that goes for the month of February. I'm hoping it's helping me because my screen time right now, I mean, y'all have seen in a video that I did, my screen time was what, like 13 hours at one point? My screen time now at 3 p.m. in the afternoon, 3 p.m. in the afternoon, redundant, um, is 59 minutes, which is really good. Like that is that's like unheard of for me. I don't think it's ever been that small unless I locked myself out of my phone and even then I figured out a way to get on Safari. I'm gonna try that tactic she said and there was another thing that she said where she mentioned that the way that she gets things done because to me I'm like oh my god that'll be so difficult because it's such a habit for me to get on there and just scroll mindlessly and doom scrolling. Look up doom scrolling if you had it because oh my gosh. She said the way that she looks at it is today, well, I'll put, I'll put my name because I'm not her, that might be weird, but today Olivia can't let down past Olivia because the Olivia from Tuesday assumed that because she accomplished the thing, like because it's a monthly long goal, that Wednesday Olivia would like, you know, hold down the fort and also accomplish it. And if I don't, then I let down past me and I'm like, Oh my god. Because there's no, if you look in the past version of that, like there's no way you can be like, oh, well, I'll just do it tomorrow. And so it's like, no, you'll let yourself down today. I don't know why that flipped a switch. And so I thought I would mention it in case anyone else cares. But yeah, there's that. So if you don't see me like responding or looking at stuff, or looking at stories or looking at DMs on Instagram, that would be why. I'm pretty much only going to be really responding to like YouTube comments and things like that. And then focusing on getting like videos and stuff done because I just really want to post more. I want to read more. I'm really in a reading mode and I want to utilize that. So um, I have one themed vlog I've already told y'all about going up next Wednesday or Sunday. I think for February I might be doing another screen time one but maybe I'll do it for like the whole month because when I'm not able to go on Instagram today I got so much done. Like I have Patreon February planned out. I just have to create the live stream links. That's it. That's just tedious, but that's like audiobook kind of task. I have my planner for the whole week set up. I have this book almost read. Two books already almost read. I have another one halfway done. I have like energy. Okay. I'm not sad and overwhelmed, which I feel like Instagram. I think honestly being on your phone or on screens, not your, me, me being on screens for too long, it has a way of like, I think it not only hurts my head and stuff, but it also just is like, it brings it down. I don't know. I don't know why. I think it's also winter <laughs> and it's icy outside. So it's a hard time. But anyways, aside from all of that, I am going to go get things done and I'll talk to you later. All right. All right. snow covered houses and that sky is so gray and snowy I love it Jake did this from the outside and we're not gonna talk about it Um, I'm nervous because I uploaded my haul today and I don't know, first of all, I always kind of get nervous when I upload hauls because those are like the ones that I get comments 
about my bank statements on. I don't know why. But uh, I, I, I'm i nervous for that. I'm also nervous because it's the first time I've uploaded in a while. So I'm like, should I delete it? I'm not going to, but we're just going through a lot. Um, So we're going to come on here and we're going to talk about the book I'm reading. And then we're going to talk about the novel Wix candles that I got sent in the mail. Because it is Pride and Prejudice themed. It is for like a Valentine's Day kind of box. And it's exclusive to this box, the scents. And they smell so good. She also sent me like this huge box of wax melts, which is so kind. If you're watching this, thank you so much. Like that literally made my day. Um, and it's been rough days. So that was really nice. Also putting on my face to film my February video kind of helped with my mental health. Like who would have seen that one coming? Literally every article that says to do that. Um, but anyways, home wrecka. That just brought me back to Marina the Diamonds Tumblr. Oh my god. Sayer. I am 43% through this, 191 pages, chapter 33. Nothing much has changed. Um, I'm still enjoying it, so it's not like in a bad way, but I did finish a book for the video yesterday, so that was very accomplishing, and I need to get halfway through the other book, and it is, oh my god, it's only 11 a.m., and I filmed a video. I don't feel like editing it, though, so let me not brag too much about myself. <laughs> I'm not really going the whole nine miles, but you know. But I do need to get halfway through that and then I will continue on with the home records. And then all my February TBR, which is set up over there yonder, is free range because I am not doing another themed vlog until the end of the month. And it may be a Patreon exclusive one because it involves only one person, if she's even watching this, is gonna get it. But uh, it involves getting into my flea bag era, and I have a lot to say about that, so it might just be on Patreon because I don't need my mother watching it. <laughs> but, anyways, I am gonna go get my Prime Predators box one second. Oh, hello. It's me. You were looking for. Ow. Alrighty. Alrighty, righty. So this box is very heavy and very nice and I'm very excited. Um, you can see it says Pride and Prejudice there. Then it has a little seal. I'm hoping if I just get my face out of the frame it'll focus, but it doesn't work on me, so I don't know why it would work on it. Oop, sorry, I didn't mean to shake your world. I had to open the drawer so I could use it to hold my life. So you open it up. And then it has Miss Elizabeth Bennett. And it's a little note. It's very cute. It's like the whole note. I love it. And then there is this pretty packaging. And I, so the first thing is this little doodad. Is it a holder or is it like for rings? I don't know. We'll find out the further we get into the box. But to be honest, you can kind of do whatever you want. Free will and all that. But there are... Hello, Jake? There are, like, full-size candles. So this one is referencing the hand, which we all know. Oh, my God. And it is a very clean... It's vanilla and oak moss. It is a very clean scent. I really do like it. Then the next one is called Dawn. Isn't it beautiful? Yes, and it's supposed to smell like pink lemonade. We have another one that says no enjoyment like reading. It's wildflowers and sandalwood. This is so pretty. I love this art. Wait, that one? I might need to burn that one. I have a thing about clean scents, like clean in the sense of it smells like springtime laundry detergent, but nicer, that kind of scent. It makes me, I've literally Pavlov dog myself because those are the only candles I'll burn when I'm working. So every time I smell it, I feel productive. Highly suggest. I learned that in a college class and so I did it during college and listen, it works. Then this one is Rose and Sandalwood and it is the ball scene. Let's see. Oh, this is my favorite. This is my favorite. It is the perfect amount of like a sweet, clean balance. Like, there it is. Ooh, 
anyway, and then we have some English garden tea that is called Austin. And then this is the Creator. That is very nice. Ooh, we got matchsticks. That will be, I think, listen, I know who I am going into 2023 and I'm just gonna keep using this word, but the aesthetic and the sound of a match being lit. I watch so many of those study with me, unwind with me nightly routine that are just the sounds like no one's talking. If I could live my life like that where no one's talking, <laughs> I'm just kidding, I could never. The noises, like the noise, I'm so scared of matches, but I then we have this little, I think, I want to say this is a wallet, but I also don't want to, okay, so my camera is overheating. She's very happy about it. Let's make this quick. Like I was saying, this is so cute. I want to say it's a wallet. I'm also not confident. I don't want to be embarrassing to myself. It definitely looks like it could be one. Like these look like a little, but it's so freaking cute. When I'm not wearing my fake nails, I'm gonna use that. If I was wearing fake nails, I would not be able to get those cards out of there, let me tell you. I also, while my camera was going down, found the cup, and not to brag, <laughs> but this is about to be my espresso combo, because listen, if you haven't gotten onto the romanticize your life online thing, whatever, I, I don't know what it is, but that you should, because why not? And who doesn't want to make their espresso in this cute little cup. Are you kidding? Like it's, it's beautiful. So I'm gonna do it. <laughs> and then also there was this tea strainer. I don't drink a lot of tea. I know my ancestors are <laughs> mad, but there's the actual little doodad. <laughs> and then there's this guy on the end. And I think it's a really cute concept. So, you know, you can just like have this make a little tea, burn a candle, read Pride and Prejudice, talk about yearning and pining with your oak moss candle. I don't know. I don't know if I'm describing my ideal night or yours. So that is what she sent me. Thank you so much. I will unbox all of the uh, wax melts next week's vlog because I want to break it up, but also I need to organize my drawer that I have all my wax melts in because I have been watching Ms. Andrea Marie who is the owner of Scribble Prince Co. Don't know if you know. I'm like <laughs> an affiliate now. But uh she's got me so into wax melts. It's I need to buy another burner for like the living room so I can actually use them. But that's okay. For now I have my Pride and Prejudice candles. Anyways, my camera's freaking out again. Let's unbox the fairy loot box. I don't know what month this is from. It's the Sinister Secrets one. Let's hold this at the weirdest angle, Olivia. Sounds good. It's for January. This is one of my favorite authors. Very excited to read this. If you haven't read The Gilded Wolves, read it. What are you doing? But this is The Last Tale of the Flower Bride. And I just, it's beautiful. I do not love these edges like some people. Um, I wish that they were just flowers, but that's just personal opinion, mainly because it kind of scared me when I realized they were humans. And then I realized there are humans on the cover too. And I don't know why people scare me. <laughs> Literally just turn on the news. Uh, and then I also got this book from the publisher. So thanks. Don't know what it's about though. It's if we're being honest. And it looks like it's set in the suburbs. So definitely we know honesty is not happening there. But anywho, that's it for me for now. I'm gonna go at least... Uh, I'm not making any promises. I don't really want to look at my laptop right now. I was going to say, I'm going to go organize all my clips and be so productive and blah, 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 blah. No, I want to read my freaking book. So that's what I'm going to do. Hi. So, oh my God. Say hello. Yeah. <gasps> don't notice that book <laughs> that I'm reading for the other video, uh, but I am and I'm loving it, which sucks because I hated this. <laughs> um, okay, let me just say, I didn't hate this. Oh, also happy Friday, how rude of me, how are you? Um, I did not hate this, but I'm very let down by this because at first it seemed like we were getting an HGTV murder m cozy mystery, but then it definitely went out of the cozy element because it had in too many heavy topics. So that wasn't part of it. 
and it was very like lukewarm and not flushed out that portion but then the romance was also just like weird like it was very clearly just the two guys liked her but she was like anyways this house so I didn't like that and then the house plotline just kind of fell to the wayward which I'm like that's the one I cared about so I don't know tragic I gave it two stars because it was not it was also just too long it was too long but I really did like the beginning because I liked I liked that it was slow and kind of like just life living kind of thing but then it was just like too much life was living and it was too with that being said I am done with this that is let's see because I also realized I have not updated you on all the books that I read whilst I was not here on this earthly plane of YouTube and so I've read 16 books so far so three of those for for February so we won't talk about them although I did read the quote prints Carrie Soto is back a secret one hellbent a book called Centers Anonymous lessons in chemistry so I read six books in the two weeks that I wasn't with you guys and uh, I am thinking about filming a wrap-up for that because I know that I had such a 50 50 split like if people wanted wrap-ups if they were like you are you in your vlogs there's really no point but then I was thinking if I do a wrap-up and I put timestamps for each book if someone is thinking like oh I want more in-depth thoughts the wrap-up is kind of the place for that or just more succinct I've had the month now to like sit on this and think about it that would be the wrap-up because I can timestamp them you can go in and I'll basically just say like if you have the same taste as me is this worth buying no or yes or let's do a library loan you know that kind of thing so I think that's what I might do with my wrap-ups and they might just be more of like a housekeeping kind of video and you can look back at it kind of thing versus that plus I don't know I mean how many books was that in one month if I'm gonna be reading 13 books a month I feel as though I should keep track of them also it's helpful to me because if I forget to fill out my reading journal which I do I can go back and I can literally hear what my thoughts were so anywho that's just an update that I probably am gonna start doing them also, I just feel like there, there are videos that the girls tend to like, so there's that. But January was a weird end of the month for me because I kind of just started to read everything that was like on a list and it wasn't bad. I didn't hate it, but it was very much suburban mom fiction. So with that being said, we're going to go pick out the next book that I'm going to read for this vlog. I was thinking a thriller, but I did not put that on my TBR, and I really am, for whatever reason, driven to keep up with this TBR this month. So, I think I might do the Sorcery of Thorns novella, or I might do the Romantical one that I have, The Two Wrongs Make a Right. I don't know which one yet, but let's go look at the TBR, see what's going on, what's going on. Um, it, I, I know for a fact I'm going to pick less fantasy aligned ones or just less intense big ones for right now until I finish this other video and then once I get that done we are home free we are sorry uh, but I do I guess since you already saw it who cares I do need to spend quite a bit this morning reading this because I'm only 10% in but I was supposed to be 50% in according to my notion page today so that's another thing I wanted to ask I did not include it in my February TBR because mm, but I do not like using my reminders little appy on here. I like using Notion on my phone a lot. Would you be interested in me doing like a Notion page within my wrap or in my TBRs or should I just keep it to the, the reading journal page? Because I didn't do a reading journal page this time because I have too many books and I have to figure out how I'm going to be able to put that many books on my to be read page. So yeah. But let me know and let's go pick out a book let's go make my coffee let's go do all the morning things and then hang out with miss emily d
Hello everybody. Happy Saturday. So just attempted to take a thumbnail. Cute. Cute. Actually, it's really cringy. <laughs> I kind of hate taking thumbnails like I wish they were just already done which is why half the time like I'll take a bunch of potential thumbnail photos and then the ones that can be like for standalone videos for like TBRs, wrap ups, the whatever um, you know those I'll like put in a folder and save and then I'll use them for the said video but then the other extra random ones I'll use them in the weekly vlogs that's why half the time the thumbnail doesn't match the weekly vlog but there's seven days of outfits in there Kind of, sort of, usually. So, who's gonna know? How are they gonna know? So anyways, um, I just got ready for the El Casamino book signing. We are trucking up to Dallas. Me and my bestie are going to Dallas. If you're watching this, hey girl. Um, and I'll literally see you in like 30 minutes. <laughs> but we're gonna go get coffee, maybe get a little lunch. And then, yeah, just hang out and bookshop. And to be honest, my, what book is it? Chain of Thorns is late. So I might pick it up because this is an indie bookstore we're going to. If you're a Dallas girly, we are going to Interbang Books. And yeah, I've never been. I'm excited to go. I'll have to tell my dad I'm in the area. Um, but that's the plan there. Um, I am nervous. I'm always nervous to go to book signings because I like, I, I don't have social anxiety unless I care. Um, and I don't usually care. <laughs> so like when I'm meeting people or I'm hanging out with friends that maybe I haven't hung out with in a little bit or I'm going to like meet authors, I care and then I get nervous. I don't know. Like when I used to go to all the orientations for work or if I would go I don't know, just random places out in the publics. Um, I don't, I'm just like, okay. I mean, y'all are people, I'm people, let's people, like, and not talk <laughs> and put the AirPods in. But I can't put the AirPods in. So there's that. Oh, there's a package coming. One second. We're going to unbox the package together. <laughs> okay. We have a package and it is of the book variety. Duh. It's not Chain of Thorns, unfortunately, but it is another new release. The final author. The final author. No, the final offer by the author, Lauren Asher. Um, I'm very excited for this. This is a big book, though. It's almost 600 pages. Okay, Lauren. So this, man, I did not put a lot of romance on my TBR because I'm in a murder fantasy mood. <laughs> You're like, yeah, when aren't you, girl? And... So, I don't know when I'm going to read this, but I need to read Terms and Conditions. I need to finish that first and then read this. But I like this author's writing so much. I read the first one in her F1 series. It was so good. Please don't bark. But yeah, I'm very excited for this one. And I did, I've liked what I've read of Terms and Conditions so far. It's just, it's not on the TBR. And I am actually trying to stick to my TBR this month. So whatever. Speaking of that, I need to update you on the book that I ended up starting. I did not go with the Mysteries of Thorn Manor like I thought I might. I read I'm 115 pages into This Woven Kingdom. So good. I love YA fantasy. I love being alive again. So that's my review of that so far. And then I also started Two Wrongs Make a Right and I got 18% into this one. So I'm on chapter 8 of this. And this one... I don't know. I don't know if I'm not in a rom-com mood because this is the difference for me. There is a difference in the vibes of a, a traditionally published rom-com and a Kindle Unlimited romance. For example, she is a Kindle Unlimited romance. And I am thinking of maybe if I want to switch out books on my TBR, I quote unquote am allowed to, if they're in the same genre. I don't really know how I can force the rules to work for me since I am the one that made the rules. So I'm not really sure there, but I'm sure I'll figure out something I always do. So yeah, that's, that's it. That's where I'm at with the reading updates. So I'm going to take you guys with me to go get food, coffee, books, everything that like sustains me basically. But first we need to go get socks and shoes because ah, I need those. And I need to bring my other Finlay books. I don't know if they're going to let me get more than the one signed. I am going to try, so. There's that. Yes, yes, yes. I 
I have my favorite bag. And here are the goods. Yeah. Lord, do not dare look at my hair. <laughs> it is a mess. This is, yeah. Okay, so I don't have a reading update for you guys, but I do have an update regarding my second favorite hobby, buying books. So here is my book bag. Um, the signing, as you saw yesterday, was quite fun and, uh, yeah, although I did get really nervous because I just get nervous meeting authors that I like a lot. And um, my little Apple Watch was like, you're technically inactive, but your heart rate is going above 120. And I'm like, thank you. Thank you. But I have my Cozy Hollow Book Club little bag. And oh, hello. I'm going to show y'all. So I only got two books from the bookstore. One was Finlay Donovan Jumps Again, and then the other one is a new release. The other two I just want to show you because I got them all signed and I'm excited about it. But the first book that I bought was Chain of Thorns. Yes. Um, I'm very excited for this. I, I kind of just want to read Chain of Iron now and read this now. Like, I don't really want to wait, although I know that I should because I have other books. And technically Chain of Thorns isn't on my TBR. So I think I might read Chain of Iron closer to the end of the month because it's bigger. So I think once I've finished like my last book that I think I'm gonna finish for February, I'll do Chain of Iron and then carry that into March and then read that one. That's such a good idea. Nailed it. Okay, then I have the Finlay books. Look at how cute they all look together. And I want to reread these now. I want to read them all. Yes, I've read this one like four times, this one three times, and then I've only read this one once. So to me, that sounds like I need to read it again. Um, but I love it. And look how she signed it. It's so exciting to me. It's so cool. Also, I did not realize that she's friends with Miss Megan Miranda, but she talked about it last night and I thought that was so cool. Cause I also do enjoy a good Megan Miranda book. I saw Kenya talking about, um, Kenya, like I know Kenya, from Lily Reads. Kenya, also from As Told by Kenya. I, I don't know, I'm a Kenya fan, stan, sorry. Um, it's true though. And I saw her talking about Megan Miranda. She did a vlog where she read all the Megan Miranda books I think that she owns. And she really liked The Last to Vanish. And now I want to read that one. And I just got sparked that memory because of the siding last night. But let me put these back in because I need to go put them into the library room. But look how beautiful this is. It's, it's a beautiful book. 
for what reason i don't know and then oh speaking of beautiful books y'all i love this duology like the covers are so beautiful they're so different because the first one daughter of the moon goddess is like purpley cool toned and then this one is warm toned and blue and yellow and orange and it's just so beautiful so the top and the bottom are how i like it they're just like a solid color i think that's good i don't like it when there's stuff on there because then i get paranoid i'm gonna get like this dirty <laughs> or if i put a bookmark in it's gonna like separate i don't listen i'm very particular with my books i don't know if you know but like there is foiling all over it it's so beautiful like it is just one of the prettiest books i've ever seen and stephanie garber blurbed it granted she only said one word but then on the back she said epic romantic and enthralling from start to finish and I trust Ms. Garber for that. But then also Elizabeth Lim did, and so did Shannon Chakabordi, who I love both their books that I've read by them. But I, oh wait, takes a beloved Chinese legend and reimagines it gorgeously spun romantic fantasy. And then Shannon said, a lush, dreamy gem of a novel. That sounds good. I like that very much. But look at these edges. Isn't that crazy? Like, oh my goodness. <laughs> just you know what's crazy to me is there is a human in this world who drew this what do you think it's like to be talented i don't know sound off <laughs> because i genuinely sometimes i realize the last time i really had that revelation is i was in the french quarter with my mom my partner and my brother and we were looking at art and i always buy something whenever we go there and I have two pieces um, in the living room that I need to get frames for, but I kind of like the way they look. But I need to get nice frames for them. But I want to get like cool vintage frames that look, that like fit, you know, the vibe. I just saw this man's paintings and I just was looking at it. And he was doing it live time in the French Quarter. And I was like, there are so many people playing music and they're good at it. There's all these artists and they're good at it. There's all these beignets and they're good at it. And there's me just soaking it all in <laughs> like i don't know it's just sometimes i'm in awe of people normally i'm not a fan of people they're just not really my thing but sometimes sometimes i really like them you know also look at under this dust cover it's so beautiful also i like the cream instead of the um you know like just a plain white because i feel like a lot of books under the cover are either black white or red but i like this cream i think it looks very nice that's such a little detail it literally doesn't matter but it matters to me so i'm gonna go put this on my shelf next to daughter of the moon goddess because that's another listen i'm in february i'm loving the books that i'm reading let me tell you this woven kingdom has woven its way into my kingdom like i am so in love with that book i'm already thinking about other books i want to read in march like this is how i know i'm in such a good reading mood because i am like just i can't stop reading i can't stop thinking about reading i just gotta keep going and my library hold for the last book for the vlog I'm filming right now just came in, which is super fantabulous. So I'm gonna start listening to that tomorrow on my way to therapy and yeah. Oh, but right now, what am I doing right now? Oh, I'm gonna take a nap. <laughs> I'm gonna take a nap and then I'm gonna wake up and then we're gonna watch the new Zavi video and then I'm going to drink my weight in water while I continue and finish this Woven Kingdom today. So that is the plan. Although I'm 200 pages into it and I think it's nearly 500. So it's it's a goal, but it's a goal I have and I do believe I could achieve. The Two Wrongs Make a Right book that I was reading. I think I have the potential to like this. I don't think that it's, I'm in the mood for it right now. I think I'm way more in the mood for fantasy reads. I think I'm going to focus on finishing this vlog that I'm filming and then next week i think i'm gonna get into the perilous grades because i want something i want low fantasy i think i want fantasy within our world i want magic within our world and that's kind of what i'm feeling right now so yes i'm very excited i also think um i'm going to film a what's it called well if you've made it to sunday in this vlog you are a trooper so first of all thank you second of all do you want the switching my screen time for reading time video? Because my screen time's up again. <laughs> Granted, not to 13 hours, it's like, but to eight. So we should probably get that back down. Or should I do the Instagram controls my week of reading video? What do we want to do there? Let me know. Or if you have any other ideas that you ever want me to do, just drop them down below because I, especially vlog ideas, love them. But I also do kind of want to do more sit down videos. So if you have any of those that you want, ever want me to do, let me know as well. 
But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go snooze <laughs> and I will see you guys later. Hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for